All right, guys, well, you may or may not know that time is running out for you to win my world famous, I don't know about world famous, but pretty relatively famous 1,000 horsepower ZR1. Only two weeks, about two weeks left for you to win this car. I'm giving you the chance to win and own my ZR1, but you have to act right now and hit the link down below. And now is a great time to get entered because we're doing a big cash giveaway. I got five grand right here in real money. This ain't prop money or nothing like that. This is real hundreds they smell great and that means i'm giving a hundred bucks to 50 of you that order over the weekend and guess what i don't think we sell a single item over a hundred bucks which means you're making money i am i'm literally paying you to get entered to win and own my car not a bad deal right so hit the link down below right now get something cool i guarantee you will find something you love on our website we got all kinds of great stuff on there for you get entered right now this weekend only and maybe find a little extra cash in your order we could all use a little extra money in this economy so it's a great time to get entered hit the link once again and good luck all right good morning guys hope all of you are having a great day welcome back to the channel and i want to thank you right off the bat for your support on the last upload lots of great comments and ideas and then some that i would say are maybe or might be a little bit extreme uh people talking about the second amendment we'll call it i don't want to mention the actual devices because YouTube does not like that. But uh, yes, if it ever comes to that, uh, I am prepared. Ladesh also is prepared. We are big 2A people and almost always armed, but I don't think this situation called for it. Now, if it ever does, like again, we will handle it, but I don't think um, it just, it wasn't quite like that. And the last thing you want to do is create a, a more violent or bad situation and then you could go to jail. So I, that's always a last resort, um, but I, I am prepared if that ever happens. Um, but lots of great ideas that I will take into account for sure. Now on to something better. We have a winner for the Denali, my first ever 717 supply giveaway. We have a winner and we will be calling on Sunday, this Sunday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. So mark that down and get ready. I wanna say it's the 4th of June. Uh, but something a little bit alarming along with all the good news is the scammers are out there and they're getting better. I've been getting tons of emails and DMs about this. Now, this is nothing new, right? YouTubers have dealt with imposters scamming people for a long time, Tavarish, uh, Cletus, Stradman. I think all of us, honestly, everybody has had imposter accounts trying to scam their, their uh, subscribers, but uh, they're getting very good. They're even calling now from a 717 phone number. And if you don't know, that's where my name comes from, Street Speed 717, my area code and they're getting pretty good by calling from that number. Now, what I can say is this, don't fall for it. When I call you, I will never ask for personal info. I already have that, I already know who you are. I have your email, your phone number, um, and sometimes the scammers do as well, but what they want is financial info. I will never ask you for your card info or to verify any card information on the phone. I will never ever do that. I will not do that. Uh, when I call you, you won the vehicle, I'm giving you the vehicle. You don't have to pay anything. So don't fall, you know, I don't know what I can say, but please don't fall for it. Some people do. When I call you to tell you you won, it's gonna be my voice, it'll be me. And uh, there'll be other people like Ladash and Bobby and, and probably Beeve will be there. You might hear all of us, but none of us will ask you for anything financial. Uh, we don't need your money. You're, you're getting a car. We don't need any money from you. Like I've, I've seen some pretty wild ones, but people do fall for it. They're like, if you send me, 500 bucks, I can send you the info for the car. Like how does, that doesn't make sense, right? But people do fall for it. Um, even when Beeb calls you after I call to tell you what to send for the car, when you, when you get the car, it's like proof of insurance. It's not anything financial, like never give financial info, credit card info, debit card, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, none of it. Don't give any of it over the phone or to a, an Instagram account. Like that's not, that's not us at all. So I had to get that message out. Now I'll do something really fun. Enough of the bad stuff, my God. Uh, I have so much for the Power Wagon. Now this is a treadmill. So not for the Power Wagon, has nothing to do with that, but the rest of it, that's for me to lose weight. The rest of it though is for the truck. And this truck is going to be my best build ever. If not the best in your mind, irrefutably the most creative build I've ever done. I may or may not even have a giant rooftop tent in that box. Mike, 
I might, but what are we do what are we doing today? We are taking the C7, not the C6. I'm going to drive this though, because it, it feels like a good day to bang gears, but we're taking the C7 up to Whitmoyer to get the tire pressure sensors installed because we have that light on the dash and uh, we gotta get that car buttoned up because the giveaway for that one ends in like two weeks. That one's about to end. If you haven't entered yet, hit the link down below, get entered. We're doing a cash giveaway along with 10X entries starting today. So it's a great time to get entered if you haven't yet, or even if you have, maximize those entries, link down below. But we're taking the C7 to Whitmore and then bringing the Denali home. So we don't even need Ladesh today. We don't need a ride. Uh, we don't have to take one of our cars. We've got the Denali up there, ready to come home. So let me move the box and we'll go. Yeah, the rooftop tent, this thing is freaking massive. It weighs, man, I'd say at least, it's gotta be 200, right? But we're building a whole setup for that on the truck. So no worries, it'll fit great. Whew. That is exactly why we have the treadmill, because I'm out of breath. camera what what happened yeah it might not have the power of some of my other vehicles but i love having a real manual it's really fun now we'll see if it ever costs me a race maybe maybe i won't like it as much those automatics are hard to beat but um for right now i'm loving it when it doesn't matter and there's nothing on the line <laughs> i'm loving it even a first gear and go like you get a little spin, but not much. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Maserati, Levante, oh, yeah. Check it out, little Ferrari uh, 355, right? <laughs> oh, not bad. Everyone's out today, enjoying the sunlight. In PA, you gotta take it when you have it. You know, not every day is a good day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, still a fast car, like it, it really is. Only thing I gotta get for sure is some seats. The C6 seats are not good, man, not good. They have like no bolstering. They're very soft, like they are comfy, but they have no support. You just, there's nothing stopping me from just sliding around. I'm, I'm not a big guy either, and there ain't nothing holding me in. We'll get to it. I might have something on the way, maybe. Right, and we are good. Let's fire up the old uh, C7 now. I think I have the keys in my pocket. Maybe? Yes, right ones. You know it's the right one. They look identical, but this one has the start thing on it. So now that the car is off, let me talk really quickly about the power wagon. Now you saw the behind the scenes little montage there from Ladusi, looking good. But the wheels and tires, which by the way are a 37, 13, 50, a big chunky one. The wheels and tires and the leveling kit are on, but that was the easy part. The rest of it is going to be insane. Not easy, like that's very important and looks really cool, but the rest of it is going to be insane. Now one question, the vertical line grill. At first I hated this, however, I'm warming up to it. I think it looks pretty good. Now maybe I'm used to it, but I did buy a, uh, a new grill with the mesh, more mesh 
style. So let me know in the comments, do you think we should leave the vertical line grill, the old school style one, or switch over to the new one here, looking more like a, like a TRX. Either one, I think the truck is going to look epic. And like I said, check this out. Same key from like 05 to what, 2019? So for 15, 16 years, the same key with the Corvettes. Now they did change the back logo, but other than that, same key. I mean, if you want like GM in a nutshell, that's it. Popping like crazy. This car feels so good. It really drives so freaking good. And if you notice, because it's hot out, all right, enough of the burbles. Burbles off, which by the way, that's an important note. You can do that. If you want the burbles, manual mode, it'll do it. If you don't want them, drive mode, and it cuts that out. So pretty cool there. But if you notice, the AC is on, AC seat is on. That feels really good. Yeah, this car, everything works. Like all the air conditioning, I mean, obviously the radio electronics and the Bluetooth, all that works, but um, it really is a no compromises build. You can drive and have fun with it. And on a hot day, crank up the AC and be comfy too. It's really a true no compromises build. And I've driven a lot of vehicles. Very fortunate in my life. I get to drive a lot of cool stuff. Very few vehicles do everything really, really well. This is one of them. I mean, I had it built that way, but it really turned out great. So one of you is going to love it, or maybe you take the cash and I get to keep it. But either way, we're both gonna be happy. Or maybe it's the biggest mistake I've ever made and I'll regret it forever. Hopefully not. All right, well, here we are in the bay. Well, not really the bay, but like the, bree the breeze way they call it. And we'll drop off the C7, grab the Denali, turn down the copyright strike and uh, then I'll see you back at the shop. All right, well, the Denali is back looking really good and ready for the winter phone call here on Sunday. Ladesh, I believe, is clocking out. Goodbye. Have a good night, Mike. Have a good one. You have a good weekend, buddy. You too, Mike. Oh, yeah, everyone's gone. This is my favorite time. Not that I don't, that kind of sounds terrible. Um, not that I don't like the people here. They're all, they're all awesome, uh, but I love having the shop to myself, a little quiet time, hanging out, and uh, we're about to work on the power wagon, which I love to do, love working on trucks, having fun, and uh, she needs a few things. Mainly today, we're gonna focus on, that sounded so bad, like I like when everyone's gone. I didn't mean it that way. Um, today, we're going to focus on the sound because the truck is really, really quiet. In fact, you can't even hear, let me fire it up. I think the keys are inside, but yeah, check out those wheels and tires love the choice now i picked them out so i'm going to say that but i think it's a really cool look and again this is only the very very beginning so much more planned we also have a full size spare for you right there but yeah i'm really pumped about this truck it's going to be so freaking epic um if you want to see the behind the scenes info on the truck check out the 717 supply channel Ladesh is working hard on the channel he's been doing great his little desk over there um He's been doing great, so if you wanna see more behind the scenes stuff with the giveaway vehicles and the giveaways in general, check it out, 717 Supply YouTube. But yeah, the keys are inside, and I love this truck. It's so freaking, so cool, so freaking cool. But yeah, you can't really hear it at all, so I don't love that. That's the one thing I uh, am not pumped about. Yeah, uh, that's it. Let me rev it up real quick for you so you can hear it. Although, again, there's really nothing to hear. Might need to like move the camera a little bit because that was pointed right at it. I'm sure the wind was uh, pretty bad. Maybe like over here, if I put the camera here, Yeah, not exactly mind-blowing, right? But we're going to fix that. We're gonna make some cuts and she'll sound amazing. And there are exhaust options out there, but they're all like 1500 bucks and it's gonna sound really good on its own. It's a big V8, it's going to sound good on its own. We don't need a whole exhaust and it's a really simple design. It's one pipe, um, one pipe all the way, pretty much out the back past the cats. And we're leaving those because we want to abide by all emissions laws on this channel, always. But yes, it'll sound, what am I? Yeah, she's going to sound fantastic, I know it. We just have to let her breathe a little bit and I think we can do it for about 25 bucks 
in about 45 minutes, and that's a pretty sweet deal. I know what you're thinking, this is kinda like ghetto, right? But trust me, it's going to sound just as good, if not better, and yeah, I could afford the exhaust, but I think this is more fun. It's going to be a custom 717 supply exhaust on the truck, and really, it's going to sound incredible. Just trust me, I've done this before. We could unbolt this, but the I wanna reuse the hanger, and the hanger is connected to this. So we have to make a cut past, past where they're connected. Otherwise, we could unbolt it, and that would be okay too. But I wanna reuse that hanger because it's a lot of weight, depending on where we go with it. Um, I want that support there. So we could unbolt, but we're going to make a cut right here, and then, and then we'll worry about the back getting that all off. Woo! Done deal, baby. Done deal. Um, I realized that to get to reuse the factory back pipe, which I'm okay with, I think it looks fine, maybe I'd do a tip on it, but to reuse that, I'd have to get a custom length pipe made, which I mean, I do eventually, but I'll keep this whole section. I'm just gonna take it off the hangers and then we'll side pipe it for now. It's gonna look cool. It's gonna look sweet, actually. I might like that more, but just in case we wanna reuse the whole thing, I'm going to not cut anything or ruin anything. I'm just gonna take the hangers off. Get over here. Eat. What in the world? Oh. <laughs> All right. Help. I'm Joe Biden. I might have lied. Maybe one one more cut. But you didn't see. That. That's fine. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I am pumped. Let's hear it. Actually, you know what? Let me finish it and then we'll do the sound. After. So more, more suspense. 40 bucks from Amazon or Amazon Advanced Auto. That's where we're at right now. 40 bucks and I'm actually really pumped. I did a test fit and uh, it's going to look sick. Like it's going to look really, really good. So 40 bucks and about, uh, I don't know, about 45 minutes so far, but that's a lot of that's driving back and forth. So yeah, not a bad setup. And uh, let me show you what I've got cooking. Oh, and real quick before I forget guys, the headlamps are finally in. I'm really sorry it took so freaking long, but they got held up at customs. They're in now though. I know I've been getting tons of comments and emails and DMs and, and everything about these, but they are finally in and going out today. We have a whole cart that went out today. So if you're waiting on an item, it's it's gotta be a headlamp because that's all that we're still waiting on from like early May. And again, I'm so sorry, but they are <laughs> out of breath, um, but they are in and they're gone out guys. They are gone out today, tomorrow, um, they're gone out. So you're you're gonna get it. I'm sorry for the wait, but they are here finally. All right, boys, check this out. Now, I think I will have Cole from Regal when he does other things with the truck. I think I will have him do a more buttoned up, like professional looking system. But I mean, it'll be largely the same, but I think maybe extend the pipe a little bit. I didn't end up using the long extension because it actually, with the little tip, it, it's right there at the bed, which is good. But now it has a side pipe, like a proper 2500. And look up in there, looks really good. If you can see it, sorry, it's not gonna show up well on camera, but it's a cool little, I don't know if you can see it, cool little turn down, just painted it. It's all clamped up, ready to go. And it looks really, really good. Um, it actually looks sick in there, just tucked away, but that's what I'm going for. I'll paint the whole exhaust eventually, but yeah, it looks really cool. Uh, I might have the tip extended too, just a little bit out because that would be good to have it like, you know, right, I'm sorry, I'm not facing the camera the right way, like right here would be good, but that can all be done. For the meantime, 40 bucks, about an hour, really freaking cool. Now, the real test though, how does it sound? We're about to find out. Put this all down. Right here, I think is good. It's fired up.
hidden, tucked away. You're not gonna hit the big muffler. You're not gonna hit the, the tip on the back. If you're going up or down a big incline, like, yeah, that's a, uh, that's like perfect. I love it. Yeah, would you look at that? Last upload, 717 Construction. This upload, 717 Fab. Oh man. That sounds good. There you go guys, 40 bucks and an hour. Not a bad deal at all. And I think that's all I got for you. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give this upload a big thumbs up, take care and have a great night. Maybe you get a really cool Corvette Generation shirt and find 100 bucks in your order. Maybe you get a Nobody 2024 political shirt and find 100 bucks in your order. Maybe you get a cool sign for your bedroom, basement, man cave, garage, whatever, and you find 100 bucks in your order. Maybe you get a hat a chicken nugget keychain, a Seinfeld plate, I forgot those came in, a drumstick keychain, maybe you get a knife, maybe you get a really cool little pew keychain, maybe you get all of that cool stuff and find 100 bucks in your order. You never know who's gonna get it, a magnet, a flag, whatever, a key tag, a little lighter, whatever. We got all kinds of cool stuff. And again, it might just, if I didn't say yet, did I say? It might just come with 100 bucks in your order. 50 of you are going to find some cash when you get your package, when you get your item here from 717 Supply. So hit the link down below, get entered right now, don't wait, and maybe not only get 100 bucks, but maybe get my ZR1 as well.